What's up, brother Kwame? Just catching up on my folk tales. Oh man, there's some powerful, powerful, powerful folk tales. Um, I'm reading about at this point in time. I want to say great preacher Chagalia to you today. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a um, episode on um, establishing your own holidays, and today is one of my holiday one of my holidays. I was born on Kuji Chagalia, so I'm gonna celebrate today by just water and ambrosia. That's what we're doing today. Um I got to move slowly back towards intermittent fasting. Um my next fast is coming up. Um the ne next major fast I think I'm doing I'm doing for the so uh not the solstice but for the um On August twenty around August twenty first, the uh, Marcus Garvey's birthday around that time too, but there's a eclipse that's happening, and then also um, uh, September we have the equinox coming up. So you know I'm setting up fast days. So like I set myself a personal calendar. You know what I'm saying? I challenge everybody to start setting up a personal calendar for days where you in a sense give your body a chance to celebrate and rest. Even though a lot of people don't see that as a celebration. Um I'm kinda seeing it as a celebration. Um, um I'm born on Kuzi Chagalia, so today is the day that I'm able to go on and just let myself go and just give me some water and some of that ambrosia. Give my body time to get itself back together. It's been over a week since I broke the, the fast, and you know, now it's time for us to begin the healing process. Uh, uh, it is confirmed Brother Wakesa will be coming to town um, the weekend of August 11th. So he'll be doing, I think, a workshop near and that Kaumba, um, that'll be the 11th and the 12th. I'm not 100% sure, but the workshops will be going down. I'll be getting a flyer today, and I'll be passing around. Um, we going. I, I want to use it as a jump off for the whole um, getting ready for Kwanzaa, because we only less than five months out from Kwanzaa, and we really got to really start making our holy times our holy time, you know what I'm saying, our, our, our holidays, our celebrations, we really got to start looking towards and forward towards them, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and building up excitement and educating people about why we celebrate these days, all right, so now, of course, bring them out, 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 all right, get that water, let's get that water, fam. So I'm almost out of that spring water. Go ahead. Eight. So I'm about to go to the distill. I got some distilled water left over from my brewing process. So I'm going to give me some real water today, spring water. All right, the 16.
There's our 32 fam. You getting your you getting your water in, Kwame? You know I'm missing Miss Sheila. This right here. See, this is the last of the original, and I'm going to be. I'm going to be. I got to feed my. I'm gonna hold on to this. I might be able to use a cup of vinegar. Yeah, I could drink this. Um, so this is my last little bit of the original. The rest of it is gone. And for those that don't know, for my uh, sourdough, I use um, the ambrosia. But I'll use this time, I'll use a little bit of the ambrosia vinegar to go and feed the uh, sourdough when I'm baking. You know, it'll be a little, it's going to be a little bit more sour. Uh, I'll just add a little bit more honey. <laughs> Alright, so, it's just the glass in all the way filled. Go on in. This is that peach. expecting that, but I'm kind of glad that happened. You see why they call it the champagne of ambrosia? Brother Kwame, you just, it, it just exploded on me, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is why they call it the champagne of ambrosia. Man. Woo. All right, let me get this up. Let me get right to our toes. Ancestors are thirsty. Toast it in a second. I just gotta clean this, clean this up real quick. I didn't get on none of my books, but I got, got my papers wet. Get this toast on.
but the joys and pains of brewing, man. I uh, that was damn near half a bottle. That was half a bottle. That just jumped out on the table. So libations have been poured. Libations have been taken. bottles in the refrigerator all right so give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose call that creator we call that great energy into the room even though we know it's already here we lift up our glass and we toast those ancestors and we say sacrifice sacrifice that's right we say i say from there we call on our personal ancestors. We call on our mothers and our fathers and our grandmothers and our grandfathers and we lift up our glass and we toast them. And we celebrate their lives. So we lift up our glass, we remember those ancestors. I'll go down my family line. Hopefully you go down yours. Miles Brown, Mazan, Robert the Texan Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, and William Walton, Chris, and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris. Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, um, Alvaro Brown, uh, Gina Gaines, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, uh, Wash Ellis Jr., uh, uh, I think I said Barbara Twiggs already, uh, John Fillard. Mon Jones, Montague Pittman L, to pet my ride, no more X, um, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Millie Dixon, Elder uh, Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, um, Tony Clark. Dr. Marianne Williams, we toast and we say I shay. From there, move to this present moment. Of course, we know that today is Kuji Chagalia. My birthday, well, not my actual, you know, it's the day I was born on. I am, I am a Kwabana, um, young man or boy born on Kuji Chagalia. <laughs> Uh, uh, the day is the day of self-determination, correspondence, uh, the uh, myotic principle is justice, uh, the hermetic law is correspondence, according to the information I got this weekend, the Wolof word would be cursa, cursa, self-respect, and respect for others. The con would be uh, generosity and beneficence. Of course, we just said committed principle would be justice. Uh, the Yoruba would be Afarabale, calmness. Of course, we know Kuti Chagalia. So, we we'll always add more information to what we know. That's called learning. For those that don't know, you know, you ne it never stops. It never stops. So we lift it up for this moment and we say Ashe. From there we move to um, our children, our children's children onto infinity. We lift up our glass and we say Ashe. Right? And last but not least, I toast you. I toast any of the issues that you may need, need toasted. You know what I'm saying? Any special things you want us to drink for, we do it. We say Ashe. 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 I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. I know some of y'all like, what, no smoothie today? Nope.
This is my holiday. And we're going to work on this ambrosia. And this water. Alright, heal my body. And I messed it up after that fast. Yes, I did. So, we're going to go on and get it back together on this day. So, I want to thank you <coughs> for joining me. I'm sorry about the the camera. Just call me Kwame Kaumba J. <laughs> Alright. Um uh that's uh what is it? So um my daughter my daughter took my other tablet. And left me this one. I don't know what's going on with the light. I don't know whether the table is moved or, or what. But I'll, I'm going to work on this lighting situation. So, this is Brother uh, Tim. I'm saying peace to all those that might join us later. But with that, <coughs> we say peace. I'm going to get up here finish my paperwork because I've been falling behind on my, my daily journaling. We don't want to do that. Right. Been having a been keeping the system going, right? So, um, I'm reading some fantastic folk tales. Um, uh man, listen. I've been doing some research on the on Fasha once again. I'm on the Fasha stuff, uh, I'm looking at it again. And um I'm going through because they, they talk about the connection between fascia and uh, martial arts and I'm reading and it's like we we even look at fighting totally different man it's like it's like um night and day see we practice fighting to look good you know what I'm saying I'm noticing in other coaches they practice fighting To kill, you know what I'm saying. It ain't about punching and and fancy kicks and shit. It's about putting the motherfucker down for good, right? I got a little book. Hold on. So I'm doing a little research on Fasha, right? And I'm going back to the original one of the original books. That got me interested in Fasha. For those that don't know what Fasha is, you can look it up. I did a, a video on it. The difference between MMA and actual fighting, right, is a big difference. You know, it's a big difference. You know what I'm saying? We spending all this money, all these fancy martial arts, and 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 we're we're, we're learning how to jab and, and shit like this, and you know, learning fancy kicks and. Warfare is not even about it. Um, fascia, F A S C I A, and fascia is the white meat. <laughs> you know when people used to talk about they're gonna split you to the white meat. Fascia is the white meat that's up underneath that for years they thought was just useless, right? Sort of like the gut. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's so. I mean, it's we're finding out that we have more organs than we ever thought. They thought the skin was the largest organ, but actually fascia is more fascia than it is skin, right? And the fascia is a connective tissue that holds the whole body together, right? And it's like you store a lot of your pains and a lot of your energy in the fascia. It's the fascia that allows you to bounce and, and, and move, and it helps move energy from one part of your body to the other part of your body. It's like, it's like a big, giant rubber band that allows you to be flexible and move. And the fascia will, how can I put it, store pain and help you become very rigid to kind of protect you. Right, so you got to start working with your fascia to kind of get it loose. But they got this book 
because I'm doing research. Um, it's this guy by the name of Christopher McDougall. He wrote a book called um, Natural Born Heroes. Heroes, right? Um, also, he was the um, best-selling author of a book called Born to Run. Excellent book. But Natural Born Heroes is even better because what the, what he talk about is the process of becoming a hero, right? The process through which going through a hero. And the, the reason I like his writing is he writes within the story. So the whole book is based around um, a World War II story and about a group of people who, who through the circumstances they're put in, become heroes. But he looks at the process through which they were raised and why it was easy for them to become heroes, right? So he talks about the fascia, he talks about the diet, he talks about um, um, he talks about uh, martial arts, uh, he talks about Greek mythology, he talks about, he put all this stuff together and come up with this book called Natural Born Heroes. In here, he also talks about the fascia, parkour, um, um, a natural fitness. Um, it's, it's an incredible book. But anyway, I'm doing some research on the fascia in here. And one of the guys that he talks about is a dude by the name of Major W.E. Fairbarn. And this dude put together a small book, 50 pages. The book is over, the book is from World War II, so it's, it's public property now, right? But the book is called Get Tough, How to Win in Hand-to-Hand -hand Fighting is Taught to the British Commandos and U.S. Armed Forces. And you look at it, you look at it, and it's a comic book, right? But this dude, this dude is basically giving you a method of dismantling people in gutter fighting he call it gutter fighting right in seconds in 50 pages right and it's like and i'm looking at it and being somebody who has been in fights you know what i'm saying and i'm, I'm looking at this shit and i'm like well god damn i mean it makes sense you know what i'm saying so you know learning to use the fascia Learning to use the energy that's generated to for blows, um, learning um, different techniques for disarming, and learning quick ways to dismantle an opponent. Like he got about three strikes up in here that you need. He got one kick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One kick. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it's it, it, it's not playing. We we we're playing with life, family. A lot of us we playing with life. Right when everybody else is serious about it, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's not a game. So we getting we 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 get in a fight. You know we think it's about looking good. Nah, dog. Nah, 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 nah. nah. So um, I gotta find a way to incorporate some of this stuff into how I work with people now. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like we, nobody's playing with us no more. Ain't no more playing. You know what I'm saying? All this loud stuff and and, and 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 it's crazy. Spell it for me, fascia. F A S C I A, fascia. All right. Um. So, um, I will get back with y'all tomorrow. Facebook. Um. Thank you for the the the, the likes and the listens and stuff like that and the subscriptions because I'm getting a few more subscriptions. Um. People, I'm subscribing to the YouTube channel. I want to thank everybody. I'm about to go and, and as a matter of fact, I'm working on my YouTube channel right now. So with that, I'm out. Peace, Brother Kwame.